Hello and welcome to Wednesday Debate Live with Takhrid Hussein here on Al TV International. Uh, tonight we'll be uh, talking about a very important and interesting topic and Egypt took great strides in the field of women empowerment. And uh, tonight I have all the honor to have with me one of the icons of women empowerment uh, in Egypt uh, and uh, in the uh, Arab world as well. Uh, Egyptian women, as you all know, enjoyed unique and unprecedented gains in the era of the new republic as the Egyptian state is keen to launch strategies, initiatives and community programs that support women uh, contributing to building their capacities and also empowering women politically, economically and also socially. The New Republic believes that empowering women is essential to the health and to the social development of the families, to their communities as well and their countries. When women are living safe, when they are fulfilled, when they are productive in their lives, definitely they can reach their full potential and uh, apply those skills in the different specialities in the workforce, raising happier and uh, healthier uh, children. They are also able to help fuel sustainable economies and benefit societies and humanity at large. And since mass media is considered to be a powerful tool uh, to highlight this important issue of women empowerment, Nile TV International has always been keen to bringing you those examples, those icons of women empowerment on screen to focus on their uh, success stories. Tonight I have with me a very successful story, uh, Professor Dr. Munazaki, novelist and global strategic consultant with us live tonight. Uh, Professor Mona is going to uh, tell us more about the vision of the New Republic uh, and women empowerment. Dr. Mona, thank you so much for coming. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And uh, together we'll be reading the, uh, this important headline, Women Empowerment. But before reading uh, this important uh, dossier and headline, let's have a look at the top stories of the day where His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi had received on Wednesday Oliver Varley, the EU Commissioner for Neighborhood and Enlargement Policy, uh, His Excellency Foreign Minister uh, Sameh Shukri, and His Excellency Christian Berger, the European Union Ambassador in Cairo, took part in this meeting. In the meeting, the President stressed on the important position enjoyed by the EU and its institutions within the framework of the Egyptian policy, which is based on mutual respect and joint cooperation against the background of Europe being Egypt's first trading partner. On his part, the EU Commissioner had expressed his honor to meet the President and praised the distinctive historic relations that unite the European Union with Egypt. Moreover, he stressed the European side's interest in developing and deepening the traditional partnership with Egypt in view of the two sides' participation in the Mediterranean region and neighborhood and in light of the political way that Egypt enjoys internationally and regionally under the leadership of President <laughs> Sisi. This important meeting dealt with a review of various aspects of the relationship between Egypt and the EU, whether with regard to its political, economic and development dimensions, where satisfaction was expressed over the overall developments in institutional cooperation between the two sides. The meeting also dealt with developments in international and regional issues, foremost of which came the Russian-Ukrainian crisis and its economic repercussions at the global level, especially in the field of food and energy. Energy. Views were also exchanged regarding the Palestinian issue uh, and also means of joint coordination in the coming period between Egypt and the European Union. Welcome back, uh, Dr. Mona, as we've seen uh, in this important top story that highlights, of course, our uh, uh, deep-rooted relations and our strategic partnership with uh, the EU. From the eyes of a global uh, strategist, how do you see the timing of this important meeting? Uh, we've been also celebrating with His Excellency Ambassador Berger uh, Europe Day that uh, has managed to bring about uh, diplomats, intellectuals, think tanks and uh, prominent personalities all over Egypt uh, celebrating with His Excellency Berger uh, Europe Day. Um, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Tahrid. It's always a pleasure to be here and uh, I really admire Nile TV International as it is the voice of Egypt internationally. 
We reach the world through this wonderful channel under your leadership and your okay. strategic vision as well. And I want also to, uh, to congratulate and to uh, pay all my respect and my admiration and my, uh, uh, my congratulations to His Excellency, uh, our dear President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, uh, a president whom we all love respect, cherish, and trust for the celebration of the 1st of June. Today is the 1st of June. I want to document this date because it's celebrating the flight of the Holy Family to Egypt. Yes. So I want to <coughs> congratulate His Excellency, the President, the Sisi, and also His Eminence, Pope uh, Tawadros, and all Egyptians. Christians and Muslims because we are all Copts and we all celebrate this wonderful blessing that came to Egypt, the Holy Family. You know, when you think of the 1st of June as the, the, uh, the date when Jesus with St. Mary and St. Joseph came to Egypt, especially Egypt, when Jesus was a baby two months old and came all the way from yeah, Jerusalem and felt secure and safe to in Egypt. Egypt. Mm -hmm. So you really answering your question mm. about this new Republic of Egypt, yeah. this all those visitors who come from all over the world, not just the EU Commission uh, and the all the pre European presidents and all the uh, African, Asian, uh, uh, international. Uh, leaders coming to Egypt, Egypt has a special status mm -hmm. on all levels, not just spiritual, but also economic. Egypt has a special status international politics. Egypt is becoming more and more um, a big pivotal, a pivotal player in the international politics. Egypt has a big status. Uh, on all levels, uh, has a say, uh, of course, led by a strong, uh, uh, led by a very strong president uh, who has all the leadership uh, qualifications, who led the country uh, from, uh, you know, from uh, one part to a, 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 a totally different level of uh, development. So uh, it is very much expected that we receive this kind of leadership all over the world yes, coming it is. to Egypt. Uh, definitely, yeah. we're very, really very proud of uh, the fact that Egypt has opened up uh, to the whole world. Egypt, oh, the mother of the world, as Professor Mona said, uh, is definitely enjoying a very important position uh, and respected uh, worldwide. Uh, we have seen this sense of mutual respect, this sense of cooperation. Uh, the EU uh, commissioner had stated during the meeting that Egypt is the link between the Arab and the European worlds, the axis that maintains security and stability, uh, not only in the Middle East, but also throughout Africa. Absolutely. So uh, here we can write down a vision also if uh, we're talking uh, uh, to a global uh, strategic consultant. Uh, uh, Egypt is the main pioneer uh, and the main axis of stability uh, for the region and Africa and a very heavy weight. That's why we, we see uh, this sense of different visits coming and uh, th this, uh, this foreign Absolutely. policy it's, reflected. It's yeah. in the heart of the world. Yeah. And uh, it's the gate to Africa. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and the, it's, it's very, geographically, mm -hmm. Egypt is really blessed by its location. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and you have Suez Canal, uh, you have all those development, the railway is unbelievable, all the transportation technologies now with all the new technologies and the new um, era of transportation, uh, the, our Minister of Transportation, God bless him, is, is working day and night and we're all impressed by what he's doing to this country and all the bridges built, not just from uh, inside Egypt, but Egypt towards, so, you know, all those Saudi Arabia, uh, the linking uh, the Arab world, linking to Africa, not just uh, on, um, 
uh, on the ground, but also you have the River Nile, you have the sea, you have the uh, uh, the uh, desert. It's uh, it's a comprehensive strategic plan on all levels, not just transportation, of course, but it's a comprehensive strategic plan to fulfill the vision of Egypt, the new Republic of Egypt, yeah. which is Egypt leading the world, mm. not just the mother of the world, the heart of the world, but it's also leading the world through many, many aspects. Climate change, we're even hosting the, uh, the conference uh, the COP27, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, political uh, changes mm -hmm. uh, with all, what, all the challenges going on in the world on political level, economic changes, mm -hmm. um, industrial, social, even uh, religious. You know, we're uh, really towards a great move uh, on um, discussing moderate and civil society. Uh, and now we're working on women empowerment, yeah. which is a very, very key issue and key aspect for the sustainability of any country and the development of any country. Yes, definitely. Since the early times and throughout history, since our pharaohs who uh, actually managed to amaze the world, and we've seen this uh, through uh, the Golden Mummies Parade uh, that has been uh, actually making headlines and featured uh, throughout uh, the, the television networks all over the world. Uh, well, uh, the, the Egyptian, Egyptian women have been queens and we're before a novelist who is writing right now more about those queens, three of them actually, yeah. is going to be seeing the limelight soon and translated, a novel translated into different languages. And this is what we see, how soft power is today transcending barriers, how we are extending a hand to the other in a sense of understanding, in a sense of messages of peace and love <laughs> from Egypt uh, to the world. Uh, her novel also was The Kingdom of the Heart and Mamlek Tel Alp, where she has managed to put down also uh, strategies and uh, in Mamlek Tel Alp or The Kingdom of the Heart you can find also uh, great examples of women empowerment which we are going to talk about. Uh, women empowerment and also models uh, models of Egyptian women who have done a lot for this country. One of the characters had sacrificed uh, uh, her son for the for the love of Egypt falling as martyr, and we have those examples uh, every day. Yeah. So chapeau to the Egyptian women who are yes. offering sacrifices and who are uh, actually bringing up uh, the, their kids uh, with a sense of belonging to our beloved country. Yes. Uh, well, uh, the upcoming report is going to highlight uh, how Egypt advanced in the indicators of women empowerment. Uh, and we'll be back. Yeah. Egypt has advanced 48 ranks in the indicators of political empowerment of women in a global report on gender gaps, according to the cabinet's media center. According to the report, Egypt has reached its best level in 10 years regarding progress made in empowering women. In 2021, Egypt ranked 78th position compared to 126th in 2011. Egypt advanced 70 positions in the indicator of women representation in Parliament, where it occupied the 66th position in 2021 compared to 136 in 2020. In addition to advancing five positions in the education indicator for women, where it occupied the 105th position in 2021 compared to the 110 in 2011. According to several reports and reviews on the progress made in the Presidential Development Initiative, Haya Karima, it is highly proven that women are the main and biggest beneficiary of the initiative. According to the announcement of the Media Center of the Cabinet, women have obtained important political gains to support them and raise awareness. On the societal level, several initiatives were launched in all governorates targeting the participation of women on a large scale in all political, social and cultural sectors and aiming at combating violence against women, eliminating the phenomenon of early marriage along with the negative damages resulting from it, as well as raising awareness to women's public health and paying attention to the importance of educating girls. 
According to the President's instructions, the New Republic spares no effort to build women's capacities, aiming to increase their representation in leadership positions, while developing their skills to make them pioneers in community work. Welcome back and uh, we're still following up uh, the daily debate live and we're talking women empowerment and uh, well definitely we're working hard uh, in the new republic and Egypt took great strides in the field and in the path of women empowerment. Professor Mona as we've seen the president uh, saying uh, uh, Egyptian women as uh, he always uh, uh, addresses Egyptian women and this uh, title is in fact a sense of responsibility because yes. uh, when, when you feel that the head of state is appreciating you to that extent so uh, uh, it's a reflection of how a country respects uh, women how uh, everybody should follow suit in respecting and empowering uh, the women of Egypt yes. so so how do you see the components of women empowerment in the new republic look number one the wonderful support of His Excellency the President uh, is unique. I've never seen a president of any country in the world giving such a support for women. It, it, it wasn't there before. So um, he's a great believer of the strength and the capacity and the, um, the blessing that can really um, be so richly given to a country or to a family or to a region through um, mothers and through the prayers of mothers and, the, uh, and women in general because the, the nature of women is very special. So uh, this man has really a great respect for women and this is a major a major um, reason why we n we're now discussing women empowerment mm -hmm. and a major reason why the whole country is taking us to um, encouraging supporting all the projects that deal with women empowerment but here I need to discuss something when we talk about women empowerment, we not only talk about the financial empowerment for women mm -hmm. and the economic empowerment. Yeah. It's not only through giving her the chance to work hard, to uh, acquire uh, more money, to have uh, to raise her children, to give them better lives and all, all, all other things. But we have to make a difference between we're empowering w women to make her independent or to give her freedom. There is a big difference between independence and freedom. Mm -hmm. And also we need to include um, with economic empowerment and financial empowerment, we need to empower women on cultural level, on um, psychological level, on spiritual level, on social level, on you know, inner level, it's not enough to uh, give a chance to a woman to work very hard and to have a good job. Mm. No, it's not enough or to gain good money. Because it has to go in parallel with man empowerment. Because we don't need to have a conflict between women empowerment and just on the expenses of men. Mm -hmm. Because what happens that when women feel very strong economically and financially without being empowered culturally and without being empowered in studying the relationship between a husband and wife and her relationship with the children and her relationship with the whole family you know there is something there is no uh, balance mm -hmm. so you find problems on other levels yeah. you find family problems you find more divorce cases you find men being husbands being intimidated by the empowerment of women mm -hmm. so we need to go in parallel 
women empowerment men empowerment women education men education yes women uh, to have more education before getting married because you know the problem is a man and women when they fall in love and they get married it's not enough they need to study what is marriage mm -hmm. they need to go into workshops they need to mm -hmm. to study each one before getting this important decision so there is a whole comprehensive process yes and all to this fulfill the vision to fulfill a vision right. of sustainability mm -hmm. to fulfill a strategic vision that this couple will be parents that's why they the country and the president uh, mm. definitely have been working on uh, the egyptian identity the, absolutely. the human character absolutely so all those are components of yes. uh, taking yes. good care yes. of the egyptian in the first education, place education education yeah. is very important mm -hmm. uh, awareness uh, yes. cultural awareness soft power is very important drama is very important mm -hmm. novels novels to be uh, into movies or to be on tv s serials and or even reading reading novels that encourage the uh, love that encourage mutual respect that encourage forgiveness forgiveness is very important we need to introduce the culture of forgiveness mm -hmm. the culture of love of mutual love you know the problem is when when uh, you, you see um, uh, when you look at a woman you expect from her to sacrifice all her lives until death what about men sacrifice mm -hmm. you know husbands have to sacrifice parents have to sacrifice not women has to sacrifice yes but also father has to sacrifice uh, you know uh, it has to be a mutual in the family uh, has a role absolutely uh, you don't put play. all the load mm -hmm. on just one person either a man or a, or a woman but you have to make it a comprehensive responsibility yes and, and this, and this, this i think this, uh, this comprehensive responsibility is very important and also an important role of the media Yes. Uh, if we're talking yes. to uh, accelerating women yes. empowerment from a deeper perspective women have a big role in preventing also the occurrence of terrorism and of uh, fanaticism that's yes. why the government is involving women in various sectors in order yes. to support their education and uh, because she acts of course uh, as a very important partner in peace building i always say mm -hmm. motherhood is not only a responsibility it's it's a prayer mm. god has entrusted mothers with a wonderful blessing and kids are priority for mothers with all due respect to women empowerment your first responsibility is your children mm -hmm. with all due, with all respect to all working women to all career women i worked very hard i studied i worked i did Oh, they never stopped me my children never stopped me they were with me in every step so I integration is the key word when mothers integrate their children in in their lives mm -hmm. they don't stop her from pursuing her career from being empowered in every aspect she wants but priority the children mm -hmm. for mothers priorities is the children you cannot be a mother and leave your children to uh, you know other uh, nationalities to raise your children for you this mm -hmm. is unacceptable so number one in women empowerment is to really give priority to mothers to give them to time educate mothers. give them time to mm -hmm. raise their children yeah. give them time and education to educate their children mm -hmm. give them the 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 um, all the means because the kids when they are still very young they they they, they only see their mothers you know yeah. so and of and course give their, uh, their self confidence also in themselves this absolutely. is uh, what is happening and uh, the president is providing a role model here you see yes uh, uh, with a, a sense of uh, connecting with the, with the kids with the young ladies uh, without uh, any sort of barriers this is very important too bring about the sense of self-confidence in them to bring how to bring about a generation
that is confident in their capacities, Dr. Mona. And uh, soft power, again, here yes. is playing a very important role because it adds, of course, to your confidence and adds to your skills. Parents. Mm -hmm. Parents play a very important role. Yeah. When parents have mutual respect, they, when they love each other right, when there is a good relationship between the mother and the father, the children become very uh, secure, you know. Mm -hmm. Give as much as you can love and tenderness to the children because there is a huge difference between spoiling a child and loving a child. Spoiling is when even when he makes mistakes, you don't care and you hide those mistakes. No, when, he, when they make mistakes, you educate. You educate, you tell them this is wrong, this is right, but don't hide the mistake. Don't, uh, you know, uh, don't let it go like this. Be courageous, courage. Mm -hmm. Love means courage. Love means tenderness. Love means truth. Say the truth. Yeah. Love means supporting the kids. Give mm -hmm. them what they want. But discuss with them what they want first. Discuss is very important because, you know, if you discuss with, with your children, this means that you are going to rescue them from not falling in Absolutely. a, in, in a sense of uh, fanaticism Talk to or them. any so, sort Talk of, to them. of terrorism. Absolutely. So uh, yes. this is really important in your novel, The Kingdom of, the, of the Heart. Yeah. You did actually I discuss refer few, to this. Yeah, I discussed mm. few examples of mothers. Yes. A mother, who, uh, a widow, who decided to raise her children mm -hmm. and to set a role model for them. And yeah. she was really forced to work very hard to provide them a good life, a decent mm -hmm. life. Another mother who spoiled her kids mm -hmm. and they became uh, useless and mm -hmm. they became uh, followers to, to their uh, uh, father and dependent. And another mother who was uh, very selfish and uh, she didn't care. Or, for her child, and uh, she wanted mm -hmm. also uh, only materialistic so stuff. Of, of the so different, it's different, uh, different characters and different calibers. Ca mm -hmm. And you find the, what is the result? The kids of the mother who really focused on her children and gave them the best education and sacrificed a lot came up to be wonderful children, wonderful um, gentlemen, and wonderful women. The other mother who let go and spoiled her child became a drug addict. The other one became a terrorist. The other, you see, so it's, it depends. It's in your on, hands. It depends on the mother. Yes, it's and, in your hands, mother. Yes, the, society is important. How much you care for your Community children. Community mm. has a, a very big role. Yes. The school has a big role. The environment is really extremely important. But the first person, a child, has in his life is his mother. Mm -hmm. So a mother is a mother. Yes. It's a responsibility. Yes, definitely. Well, uh, on if we're discussing on uh, Wednesday debate empowerment, we have also to touch on uh, women economic empowerment, referring to the ability for women in, to enjoy their right to uh, control and benefit from the different resources, assets, incomes, and above all, their own time. Well, uh, women and business, uh, again, uh, another sort and another matter of empowerment. Yes. Uh, that uh, we can see women empowerment reflected, of course, in the state economy. Absolutely. Uh, through their efforts yes, and yeah. Uh, yeah. through their being in, very big uh, into, into business. Yeah. yeah, very big percentage of, uh, hmm. of the income <laughs> yeah. comes actually uh, depends on women labor. It's, mm. uh, they, they work uh, very hard and they are really playing a, a huge role in, uh, in uh, supporting their families. Mm. And they are doing a great job and they are multitasked. Uh, and they, they are miraculous, you know. Uh, women is a, is a wonderful creature from God. And um, he gave, God gave women wonderful characters. And, um, and, and honestly, uh, when, when you look at it and you contemplate and you focus on what women can do and what women does, in fact, in, for her family, uh, it's miraculous. Mm -hmm. It's a miracle. And of course, they do have uh, a great impact on economic uh, development uh, in the country. Um, and I'm very optimistic. 
I'm very optimistic by what uh, our dear president uh, is doing for the women empowerment. Yes, definitely. We need women empowerment. We need to empower women because in the new republic we need uh, women effort. And uh, we've seen, of course, uh, how uh, the state throughout the past years had uh, already increased the percentage of women representation. For instance, in, in parliament in 2022, we find that it reached 27.8% with 165 seats if compared to 14.9% uh, in 2016, yep. for instance, with yes. 89 seats and 1.8 percentage points in 2012 with nine seats. So we see how far we, we yeah, proceeded. We'd, we'd love to mm. see also women in um, political... Political uh, empowerment, empowerment and decision-making. Yeah, yeah. And mm. we love to see women as judges. We did see them. Yeah, but yeah. we need more. more? Yeah. We need more. We, we want to see women. Um, we have, we do have excellent examples of women in the field of also law. We yeah. have very good lawyers uh, defending women's rights mm -hmm. and uh, women's cases. But we need more. We need more and more. But at the same time, we should not forget men empowerment because the problem that men get intimidated by women who are very empowered and this is a big problem on social level what sort of incentives can we like put on the table for men to support women empowerment in your opinion is to um, to discuss mm -hmm. to talk to have a dialogue to how can we like together. convince men that it yeah, is really beneficial yeah. if you have your woman empowered uh, Ma that, that's, Beneficial that's the for point. the family. That's yeah. the point. Yes. You need to mm -hmm. sit on the table mm -hmm. and, uh, and discuss, discuss in a very um, respectful way and loving way that you're not competing with the man. Mm -hmm. You're just helping. You're reaching, you're working together, not against each other. Yes. You're working together to raise the children together. You want to build the family together. You want to build the country together. You're working hand in hand. Mm -hmm. You're not, don't uh, drive apart, you yes, know. You're definitely we have a noble aim together and uh, we're absolutely. working hand in hand. Yes. Uh, in the new republic to make our country uh, better and in our families as well. Let's have a short break and we'll be back. Yes, um, so as uh, seen, yes, Egypt's mm -hmm. beloved president uh, believes in women empowerment and the important role uh, women play in the society and also working on developing the Egyptian character yeah. uh, because the president believes that um, one of the most important components of the new republic is the Egyptian citizen himself. Yes. If we have a, a qualified workforce, uh, an empowered woman, and a healthy society, this means that we are moving forward. Uh, professor, uh, if we talk about uh, women in leadership uh, positions and what does it take to uh, train women uh, until they reach the leadership post, they will be able to be part and parcel of the decision-making process in your opinion? Leadership skills are extremely pivotal. Mm -hmm for any, uh, any person because uh, there is a big difference between a leader and a manager or a strategist and a manager. So without being a strategist, you cannot lead because a leader has to have a vision. Yes, a leader so, is different from a boss. Absolutely, mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah. And a leader is elected. A manager is... Um, is being, uh, it's like, you know, the, those graded, it's uh, like inheritance, you know, he, he's, he's, he's taking his steps until he became mm -hmm. a, a manager. A leader has a vision. Without a vision, mm -hmm. you cannot be a leader, yes. you know, because a leader, you lead people, you know, you cannot have, if we are 120 million Egyptians, you need a leader. You cannot have 120 million leaders. Yes. A leader has to have followers. So we don't have many leaders. It's very dangerous to have the whole country leaders, you know. So um, that's why leaders are not many, but that have, they have to be very qualified. 
So to have the qualifications uh, for a leader, either a woman or a man, mm -hmm. you need to build uh, on, as, as His Excellency the President was saying, we're working on the human capital. Yeah. You deal with the person mm -hmm. as a human capital. You have to invest. As a treasure. You have to invest in this human. Yeah. You invest in, in this human to make him a leader. So when we talk about women empowerment, the, this what, what's going on is investing in women. Mm -hmm. Invest in the women uh, education, invest in women character, in, in building the personality, you see, in giving her chances to be different. Yes. And not only, um, uh, not only people... As, as we've seen when uh, the, His Excellency all kinds, was saying... All, yeah, all kinds, even, even those with special needs, mm -hmm. you invest in them to be leaders. Yeah. You know, each character has the possibility to be a leader mm -hmm. and, and because you need to but you need to invest in this you yes. know and Leadership education doesn't come like that you need to work on it yes and education is actually uh, helping and empowering women to have choices yes and uh, to be able to improve their own and as we said their children's lives as well through the decent life initiative i guess this yes. is one of the most important yes. Yes. Uh, projects that Egypt has been working on. I love on. this project. I yeah. love it. And it's uh, unbelievable what's going on with this project. Empowering uh, women also in 60 villages. Mi 60 million mm. Egyptians yeah. are benefiting from this uh, initiative. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I've, I've been in many villages and I could see the difference now. It's, mm -hmm. it's unbelievable. It's from black, from black to white. So, uh, no, there is, you know, Building a country is not easy. Developing a country is not easy. And building a human, a human uh, capital is not easy also. Everything takes time, effort, a lot of money, a lot of investment, and a lot of decisions. So if, when we talk about building a new republic of Egypt, it's not easy. It needs good leadership. Thank God we have a great leader, our president, the Sisi. But he cannot work on him alone. Of you course. Know, you, yeah. Need, yeah. you need to support this leader. Yes. And you need to give the push. And you need to work together, men and women. So when we talk about women empowerment, we really need the support of men mm -hmm. to allow this woman empowerment to happen. Yes. And, and working on leadership skills yes you know you need to mm -hmm. allow the the skills to happen in so it's 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 very complicated yeah. we're, we're seeing footage doable. right now that it's reflect doable. the decent life initiative yes, in the countryside yes, yeah. that has been actually attracting uh, women uh, in or, and altering and changing the the lives of women in the countryside yes. attracting them to receive also decent education which is in the first place the basic component uh, if we are education talking empowerment and health, yes, education, and, and, health, and health, health care of course health care is very important yes and also culture uh -huh. we need to work on the cultural side mm -hmm. and the brain itself you know you need to work on their thinking on their way of thinking uh -huh. the, this yes. is all very important as important as education health and housing yes the cultural side the artistic side Mm -hmm. is very important as well. Yes, uh, First Lady Mrs. Intasari Sisi uh, said that our new republic is based on uh, gender uh, equality and also the activation of the role of women as a key partner in building uh, this nation, stressing on Egypt's uh, steady strides on the road of uh, empowering women and preserving their rights and also protecting them against any sort of physical or uh, verbal uh, support. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it's very important uh, how the New Republic is preserving the safety and uh, the dignity of, uh, of Egyptian women. 100%? Yes. Dignity of Egyptian women, Egyptian men, Egyptian mm -hmm. uh, children. Um, the dignity is, is something uh, we cannot let go. It's, uh, this is, 
the identity of the person. And effective participation also in the different uh, 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 life aspects. Yes. So we don't have, you know, uh, certain jobs that are for men or the uh, women today are in the decision making post. Uh, they are in the different specialities. Of course, uh, there has been great strides in the field of also assuming responsibility in the judiciary. Uh, well, uh, empowering women through social programs as well is very important. Yes. And, we, and we, civil we, society, we talked this about year that. is civil society year and mm -hmm. women are doing a great job uh, in a lot of non-government organizations and lots of charity uh, organizations and in education and they are really doing a great job in different uh, organizations uh, to help the country improve and develop and uh, without expecting any return or yeah. any, uh, any uh, uh, award actually. Yes, well uh, it has been great to talk about Egypt's national strategy for women empowerment and about how can we empower women and not only women but how Egypt today in the New Republic is working on uh, the Egyptian character uh, yes. because as uh, President Sisi always says that they are our treasure. Yes. Uh, the Egyptian people themselves, they are the, uh, our future, they are the ones who are going uh, to definitely uh, draw a better future for uh, this country. Uh, Professor Dr. Mona Zeki, novelist and global strategic consultant, thank you so much for coming to Nile TV tonight. It's always a pleasure to be with you and uh, Nile TV International is an excellent voice for Egypt uh, all over the world. And great to always be with you, Dr. Tagrit Hussain. Thank I really you. congratulate you for the success of this channel. Thank you so much, and I congratulate you for being one of our uh, Egyptian women empowerment icons that we are really proud of. And uh, we are uh, presenting Professor Mona today as one of those examples of Egyptian women whom we are really proud of to introduce to the world. She is in herself uh, an iconic figure worldwide. Thank you so much, Professor. My pleasure. And I thank you, dear viewers, for joining us. That was uh, Wednesday Debate Live with Tagrit Hussain here on Al TV International. Many thanks for watching.